Hello everybody, Larry here and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. This is episode 186. I'm glad to be here today and I'm going to talk to you about some interesting pen cases. And we've heard about pen cases, have we not? Yes. They're a creature that we need to store our pens with, to carry our pens in, to protect our pens. So, the pen case that I'm going to be talking about is a seller off of eBay. Heinz. That's his name, Heinz. And I'm going to tell you how you can find him on eBay. So listen carefully to those instructions. If you remember, uh, it was maybe a few months ago, I did a giveaway when he brought back one of the uh, fountain pens. It was a three pen holder. It was a really super nice pen holder. Very well made. And then I reviewed this 24 case pen holder. Also, very well made. Now I'm going to talk about this pen case. This is a 12 carry pen case. And that's how you'll receive your pen case. Now keep in mind, you can go on eBay <clears throat> any time of the day, year, 24-7. You can find pen cases like this. Something like this. Uh, you can pick up pen cases, what, $3, $6, $12. You can get the 48s for thir $13. I can go on and on, but you all get the picture. They're, they're very inexpensive pen cases, but you get what you pay for. So, this pen case, let me open it up. And while I'm talking to you about this pen case, I'll let you look at it because it will be interesting. Alright, comes in this kind of cloth, very thin, and it just pulls there. Kind of cool how these little sticky things work. And it comes out here. So that's what it comes in, the cloth protector. Nice. Comes right there. Again, it's protected. And it should be. Very nice pin case. So let's take this off and get to it. You have a beautiful, rich, burgundy zipper pin case. It not only looks really beautiful, elegant, it feels that way as well because it's a real leather pin case. So, let me tell you a little bit about the pin case. Like I just mentioned, it's a 12 leather pin case. Uh, and it's a burgundy. The material is cowhide, zipper closure, and the dimensions of this pen case is 5.5 inch by 6 by 25 by 1.5. And it has the extra wide dividers, and it has extra deep gussets. And uh, the also the uh, has the split for the pin covers, the dividers rather. So this handles the widest of pins of all kinds of brands, and it's a brand new factory fresh pin case. So let me open it up and show you the inside because now it gets interesting. 
it comes like this. And these are the little cardboard dividers that come in it. And it's got the same velour inside as the 24 pin case. Exactly the same. It's not cheap. And it's really quality material, quality made. And the specifications were made as well per Hans, the seller. Uh, here's some frequent asked questions that uh, people ask Hans about these pin cases. And the question is about the pin loops or the gassets. This pin case has oversized loops are based on the diameter of the Monteblanc 149, which is 5 eighths of an inch. Heinz is not only a seller, but a collector as well. And he has noticed that most loops were grossly undersized, making it difficult to store large pins. A small part, but important feature is the dimensions of the inside of this flap right here. And don't forget the loops or gassets as well. So with that said, now I am going to show you some pins in here. Here's my Monteblanc 149. Nice pin, isn't it? Unscrews, but we're not here to talk about the pin. Very nice, one fat, juicy cigar shape, 149. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It's not a 149. It's the closest that I'll ever come to one. <laughs> it's uh, my Jin Hao 159. Joking, folks. It's just the Jin Hao 159. Little humor here. But it's fat enough, wouldn't you say? So I'm going to put that. I'll just put it right in here right in these loops so because and that's what it's made for to put in here and we're going to stick it right in there there you go right there and not a problem securely and it's safe boom and now here's a airmail pin from india it's a nice big pin as well and we'll just go ahead and we'll just stick that little jewel right in here So far, so good, right? Well, let's continue on. And here's the whole homo section. And we'll just stick that little jewel right in there. How's it looking so far? Pretty good, eh? And we'll come back, last but not least, with the Pelican eight, uh, 1000, M1000, excuse me. And it goes right in there. So, there you have it. Large pins fits perfectly. Large pins fit well together. They're not bumping or running into each other. So they're not going to get scratched or scarred up or dented in any way. They are well protected. Very well protected. So, and you can see the gadgets, how they're made. So, Hans made sure that his pin cases were designed this way for this reason. And then there's the flap with the velour that keeps pins secure and safe on the other side. And just to show you a little difference, what I'm talking about, I'll show you a pin case. Here's a pin case I bought about a year ago. 12 uh, case pin case like this one. And uh, I paid what? Six bucks for it from China. And it's a nice pin case. It is. Until I've learned about pin cases. So, and there's you a 159 Jin Hao in there. But as you can see over time, look at this already. 
look at the fence that's already came apart. They will come apart with these bigger pins. And I never do that till now. And so, you know, these are still in place. This is starting to give there. So they're coming apart already. This is what happens when you use it with big pins. So, now let me talk about cost. That's always an important factor. The cost for this pin case, 12 carry pin case, is $26.99. For shipping, it's $5. Is it worth that kind of money? Without a doubt, it is worth every penny. And even more, this is quality. Even the seller had these gadgets specially designed to handle big pins. Seen it with your own eyes. So, you know, my search to, to find good pin cases have ended because I'm happy with what I have now. He will be the pin case guy I go to. I, I, I love the pin cases. They just look great. I love this burgundy look. Cowhide, velour inside, the gas that's on it are extra super great. Hold the pins well. Velour flap inside. Ziplock works well. It's just very well made. So, I think it's worth it, every penny of it. But what I think doesn't matter. It's what you guys think that matters. So, yeah, it's uh, more pricey than the uh, $6 one, but... Uh, Look what you get. You're going to get all this quality in this pin case than this pin case. Yes, then this pin case is more affordable. Yep. This pin case is, is not all that expensive. Because I'm the guy that's on a budget. But my pins are everything to me. And I'd rather get first time around, a quality pin case that I can afford. And this is affordable for me. Because on this pin case, if it was $6, it could have been 8 They could have been 5 now, I don't know. But I'll have to get another one to replace this, and that would make, what, they say it would be 12 bucks, or maybe a little more, a little less for this. When I'd just rather get a quality pin case to start with and be done with it. So, my next pin case will be another one of these. So, I am going to leave the uh, link how to get to Hans's uh, site on eBay. He also has vintage pins on there as well. So, you might want to look at those. But, uh, there's a seller that cares about his products. If you ever have anything wrong with any of his products, you get in contact with him, and he's going to get right back to you, and he's going to make sure that it's right and that you're satisfied. That's how he makes his living. Happy, satisfied customers tend to come back. Prices that are fair, they'll come back. At least I will. And uh, when I do giveaways, this is where I'm buying the pin cases that you'll be receiving when I have contests for a pin case. So, what do you think? What do you think about the price? Do you think it's affordable? You think this pin case is worth the money? It's your money, so you spend it wisely. But remember, it's your fountain pens. 
that we're talking about. You want your fond pins to last. And if you're like me, I'm very picky and protective of my fountain pens. I don't care if they're a Pilot Plymouth or the Cross or the Schneider, whatever. I want my pens protected. That's just how I am. And like when I get through with them and the ink runs out, I'll wash them out. I don't let them sit overnight. So, I appreciate you guys from the heart tuning in to me and watching my reviews. Thank you for opening the door and letting me in your home and letting me share this beautiful 12 carry pin case with you at an affordable price. Well, until our next time we get together, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, hit that subscribe button. Tell them, tell your friends, come over to the house and join me and let's watch Larry's pin reviews. Leave your comments below. That's really important. Right there, just type in your comments. I like this pin case. Why? I don't like this pin case. Why? Yes, this pin case is affordable. No, it's not. Whatever your comments are, are your comments, your feelings, your opinions. And it all matters to me. So, don't forget, last thing but not least, hit the like button, please. Ding, 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 ding. So, I'm done. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe, and please don't text and drive. I'll talk to you later.